Y'all, I am here with your stitch prescription. Today, we are going to talk about how to get your sojo back. Sojo, for those of y'all that don't know, is basically about sewing mojo. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Gotcha, sojo, mojo. I've got five easy tips for you to get your sojo back. Let's go. First item on your stitch prescription. Treat your whole self. Treats for your eyes and your mouth. I don't care if you're a messy sewist. I don't care if you are the kind of sewist that has to take a break once an hour to reorganize. Guilty. Whatever kind of sewist you are, make the space that you enter every day happy. And your space doesn't have to be a dedicated studio with a walk-in closet. Here in our home away from home, I am sewing right next to Rob on a credenza. The dining room table has been covered in corkboard foam tiles for safety purposes and repurposed into my cutting table. My sewing machine, which is a jerk, is covered with stickers acquired at the dollar store to help lift my mood when the dang thing decides that it wants to keep backstitching after I've told it not to. And yes, I have actual consumable treats hidden here and there ready for any chocolate emergency. It doesn't matter if you have a sewing studio or you just have a little teeny tiny corner of your bedroom. Whatever you have, get something in there that uh, sparks joy. I believe that's the phrase. In other words, gives you some sojo. Two. Two. Get a new tool. I got your tool. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Oh, that kind of tool. This tool right here is my new dress form. I've named her Shouty because I've recently come to realize just how short I am because she goes to my You're not short. She's taller than me right now, ain't she? She's me naked, actually. This is... This is what I look like. There, my, there's my booty. I don't know if you can see my booty. Let me raise her up. Now you need to see my booty. Anyway, this is me. This is a custom body scanned dress form from Beatrice Forms. Our friends Allison and Nate have sponsored a form for me. One is on the way for Rob. So you're gonna get to see what Rob looks like under his clothes pretty darn soon. Yeah, that was fun. I had to wear spandex. They were not flattering. Oh, we should have videoed that. No, no. (laughs) This is quite a big tool. It isn't a big tool. Mm, Yeah, it's quite a big tool. Mm -hmm. It really can really boost up your sojo. I mean, when this landed, I immediately started draping stuff on it, right? I like uh, like the instant it got here. It doesn't matter what the size of the tool is, does it, Rob? (laughs) From your mouth to God's ears. Even something as simple as this little, this little pink flamingo tape dispenser. Imagine it's time to tape together a PDF pattern and your sojo is kind of low. Little you, low sojo? Little low sojo. You bring this bad boy out to tape a PDF together. Instant spark of joy for your sojo. Mm-hmm. Joying. 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 <gasps> Joying. Joying. With your sojo. Joying with your sojo. Wow big or small tools. Mm-hmm. They're all like a shot of espresso for your sojo. Babe, don't you want some espresso? Well, if we had an espresso machine, I would make you an espresso, but I could get you some coffee. You will make me some coffee? I can make coffee. Okay. See you later. <laughs> Bye. He's, he's corded. He's gonna go out over that way. Three, shake up the vibe. If you're in a sewing rut, you're always sewing the same thing, the same type of thing over and over again, it's easy to lose your sojo. That's when it's time to shake things up. There are three ways to do that. One, fabric choice, two, silhouette, and three, pattern choice. This jumpsuit that I'm wearing right here illustrates all three. Let me just move Shodi out of the way here. Uh Uh-huh, uh-huh and give you a little runway. This jumpsuit ticks all three boxes for shaking up the vibe. I went with pastel stripes instead of my normal 
large scale print. I went with a jumpsuit silhouette instead of my normal maxi dress vibe. And I tried out a brand new to me pattern company, Bootstrap Patterns. This is the first bootstrap pattern I made and word of warning, it's a little light on the instructions. You're not gonna get a lot of hand holding. For me, that was cool because I've been sewing for a while. I've been sewing for about a dozen years and it was a brain teaser for me. It was a puzzle to put together. If puzzles aren't your jam or if you're at the beginning of your sewing journey and uh, you need a little more hand holding, there are a ton of pattern companies out there for you to try that will shake up the vibe but give you some comfort as you're doing it. Speaking of comfort, four, forget everything I just said and seek comfort in a TNT. Sometimes the devil you know is the way to go. I'm talking about TNTs here, tried and trues. That could be a tried and true fabric that you love. That could be a tried and true silhouette that you love, but usually TNTs refer to a pattern. If you have a pattern that you've made before and you know it always comes out wonderfully, that's like having a hard day at work and knowing at the end of the day, you're gonna have your favorite easy to cook dinner. For me, that's probably a pepperoni pizza. The pepperoni pizza that I'm about to talk about here is True Bias's Ogden Cami. I'm just gonna go get Shouty. Hold on a minute. Ooh, Shouty, cover up. You a little naked. Shouty is rambunctious. This is the True Bias Ogden Cami as drafted. Almost. I took the facing and I flipped it over to the outside and added some scallops. Here she is with two tiers of gathers added to her. I've even made her wealth three tiers of gathers. You get the idea. I don't need to get shouty naked again, do I? If you've got a tried and true pattern and your sojo is low, whip that baby out and make it up into something you might not have otherwise thought of. Add a gathered tier to it. Add some scallops. Add a different kind of strap. Great ways to get your sojo going without having to go too far out of your comfort zone. Five, you don't have to sew head to toe. The easiest way to lose your sojo is to stitch that thing that you think that you must make. A couple years back, I went through a very strange spate. I think spate is a word. Spate a word, babe? Spate? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. I went through a very weird spate where I thought I needed to make everyday separates. I'm talking navy blue blazers and pants and t-shirts. I thought that because I'm a sewist that I needed to sew everything that was going on my body. You know what? You don't have to do that. That was the worst three months of my sewing life. And this is coming from someone who sewed PPE in NYC during COV. Everyday separates was actually worse for me than that. I don't have to stitch my thongs and cobble my own shoes. Ready to wear is not a crime just because you sew. We have a couple of friends who are chefs and they often say to us, we don't eat our own food every day. We go out to eat sometimes. That's what you're doing when you go out to a yonder mall or online marketplace and buy yourself something to wear that you don't feel the need to stitch. And speaking of going out, oh yes, yes, I know that we're not going out anytime soon, but I've heard this next excuse for years and I'm calling your bluff. Bonus tip, pull out that fancy fabric. What are you waiting for? If 2020 didn't give you the vision you need to realize that nothing is predictable, nothing ever will. Sew the precious fabric that you have. You need not have any other occasion to sew that precious fabric other than the fact that you are precious and you need to have some fun while you can. That's what's about to happen with this floral jacquard right here. Right after I drink this coffee. Hey babe, mm -hmm. you have to teach these people how to make your coffee. I'm gonna teach y'all how to make some coffee. That is coming up next week, folks. Well, not, you can make your coffee however you wanna make it, but I'm gonna teach you how to make this style of coffee. You gonna learn how to make 
Rob's cup of Sojo. Until next week, friends, I hope this inspired you to get into your stash and stitch. Peace out, y'all. Emphasis on peace. Mm -hmm. Shoulder, you coming with? Ready? Candy colored, glitterly, glitterly. It's glitterly what I'm talking about. Stop, stop. Don't, don't push down on me like that. <laughs> She's actually me to a T. Me, me to a T. Me, me to a T. Me to a T.